Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbon part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand the chemical properties of alkenes. We have understood how to prepare alkenes, what are the physical properties of alkenes. Let's understand the, the chemical properties of alkenes. We'll talk about a substitution reaction. In that we'll talk about halogenation, we'll talk about nitration, which will be electrophilic. We'll talk about sulfonation. We'll talk about combustion reactions, control oxidations. We'll talk about isomerization. Aromatization, we'll talk about the reaction with steam. And we'll also talk about trialysis. We'll talk about these reactions for alkanes. Let's start with halogenation. It is a free radical reaction. So here my alkane, uh, the hydrogen atom in the alkane group is replaced by chloroquin. Or it can be bromo, or it can be ido also. So it can be replaced by halogen. This is the example, and this is a told it's a free radical reaction. So here we have chain initiation state, chain uh, propagation state, and chain termination state. We have seen this uh, free radical reaction in the previous chapter, right? So here uh, we have chlorination, bromination, iodinations, all different kind of reactions we have. So we have so we see. So this guy uh, CH4 methane plus chlorine in presence of sunlight will give you CH3Cl and HCl. The moment you add more chlorine, more hydrogen will be replaced and you will get something like this. For example, I have my methane, right? So you add chlorine, HCl, so this guy will be replaced and you will add chlorine here. Then you will add more chlorine gas, this will be replaced and you will add chlorine here. This will be replaced, you will add chlorine here. And end of the day, if you see, it will become CCl, correct? So they are free radical reactions. How it happens is we have a chain initiation state, we have a chlorine, in the of sunlight it becomes chlorine free radical. Then I have chain, uh, what do you call, propagation state where if you see CH3, CH4 will react with this chlorine, it will give CH3 free radical and HCl. And it will happen, keep on happening, right? So this guy, end of the day, a chain, uh, what do you call, Ending state, this CSC free radical will react with chlorine free radical to get CH3Cl. Similarly, this will keep on happening, and you'll get more and more free radical, you'll get CH2 free radical, and things like that. So, you'll get these kind of products. So, these halogenations are of different type. We have chlorination, bromination, iodination, and also fluorination. This chlorination, this happens in the presence of sunlight. Correct or UV rays. It happens at uh, 500 to 750 Kelvin temperature. Pretty okay temperature. This bromination is slow. It's less rapid. This ionization is very slow and it is reversible actually. It is extremely slow. For example, you have CH4 and iodine, which you will see this kind of sign here to show that it is a reversible reaction. This is my methyl iodide. Correct. So, iodination, see this guy, iodination is carried out in presence of oxidizing agent. For example, I have my iodic acid, right? Or nitric acid. So what this guy does is they'll convert this HI form here. So if you see, I have HI form here, right? You react with HIO3, you'll give H2 and ID. You can write the balanced reaction. Or when you react HI with nitric acid, it'll give water, it'll give NO2, and it'll give ID. This is the balanced reaction. So now what happens is if this is consumed, the reaction will proceed in the further direction. So the reason why we add this uh, oxidizing agent is we oxidizing agent will consume this HI, so the, so the reaction will forward in the uh, go in the forward direction. This fluorination is almost explosive. This is very very dangerous, very explosive, and you have to make it less violent by diluting fluorine with 
nitrogen dilute in fluorine with nitrogen correct so these are my different kind of uh, halogenation chlorination is pretty okay normal temperature bromination is okay but very slow iodination is very very slow reversible and you need oxidizing agents and all to proceed with reaction the forward direction fluorination is pretty explosive so generally we talk about fluorination only and as we have seen the fluorination is the most reactive one almost explosive then fluorination and then bromination slow one and then iodination almost very is very very slow actually and if you talk about the replacement of hydrogen in our case 3 uh, degree is more easy to replace alkanes why because if you see by 3 degree this guy is more stable this is the let's suppose so this is what it's called free radical right so free radical reaction so this guy is a stable free radical intermediate this guy is less stable free radical intermediate and this guy is all the more less stable intermediate and this guy is all the more unstable all the more. so this guy is more stable least so as we have discussed in the past chapter also when talking about reactions the intermediate plays a critical role in deciding what product will be formed right so in this case since three degree a uh, third degree uh, carbon free radicals are more stable so this is more easy you get more products like this so let's talk about the reaction mechanism for the halogenation as i've discussed there are three steps one in the chain initiation step so in this case my chlorine molecule in the presence of sunlight will give a chlorine free radical and then i have chain propagation step so in chain propagation step what happens is we form methyl free radicals here one free radical will combine with one normal guy normal compound to form one free radical and one normal compound so you see one free radical is the input one free radical is the output right so the chain propagation step it happens a lot actually right so, so more and more can happen actually correct so more you can have for example again you have the ch3 dot here free radical you react with more chlorine here so it will give ch3 cl and cl free radical Correct. So this, these steps are repeated again and again. They are called chain propagation step. Correct. So here, consumption of one free radical results in generation of another free radical, and this is a chain, right? So, so the number of free radicals are not getting lost. It's a chain. You consume one, you give one. You consume one, you give one. You can have other possible uh, option in the chain propagation step. Also, for example, you have this uh, CH three Cl now here. It reacts with again a chlorine free radical, so it will give you what? It will give you CH two Cl and HCl. Correct. Again, you got CH two Cl here free radical, so you react this guy with chlorine now. So what you will get? You will get CH two Cl two plus HCl. Now you have CH two Cl two. You can react with some chlorine here free radical here. Correct. So what you'll get is you'll get CH two, sorry, you get CHCl two, HCl. Now you have CHCl two free radical. You react this guy with full chlorine now chlorine molecule. What you'll get? You'll get CHCl three and chlorine free radical. So we see these are my outputs actually. Correct. You're gonna have more more reaction like this. You have. CHCl3 reacts with chlorine free radical, so you get CCl3 free radical and my chlorine. So HCl you'll get here. Again, I have CCl3 free radical. You react with chlorine gas, you get CCl4 and Cl. Correct. So if you see this is my output. So if you see 
what happened is happening here in all this chain propagation step giving one free radical i'm getting one and then is the chain termination step last is the chain termination step so here what happens is here two free radicals combine to give one normal molecule for example i had let's suppose a lot of chlorine free radicals in this right so they'll combine to form chlorine gas i have ch3 free radical it may combine with chlorine free radical to give you ch3 cl right i have ch3 free radical it may combine with ch3 free radical again to give ch3 ch3 these types of reaction happen maybe these two also combines to give ch2 cl ch2 cl this kind of product is possible correct this is called chain termination step where two free radical combine to form normal normal compound so chain initiation step where normal compound gives free radical and then chain propagation step you give one free radical free radical you get one free radical and then chain termination step you give two free radicals and you get a normal compound the only thing is in chain initiation you add free radicals to the system chain propagation you maintain the count of free radical and then chain termination you decrease the count of free radicals in the system so here hydrogen atom of the alkene is replaced by nitrogen in this case the alkene is heated with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid for hours under pressure so with this what happened is my hydrogen in the alkene group is replaced by a nitro group and this is example of electrophilic substitution reaction this is how it happens so i have a methane group i have a nitric acid this h no3 is hno2 h2 in this fashion high temperature sulfuric acid you get ch3no2 so if you see in this case one hydrogen is replaced with a nitro group let's see the reaction mechanism in this case so what happens first is my no2 is formed to form that what you do is you have my nitric acid when it react with sulfuric acid you get no2 plus plus hso4 minus and h3o plus so you see this is my balanced reaction this is what happens when you react nitric acid with sulfuric acid all concentrated you get no2 plus here correct and this is the no2 plus which for example i have a methane here right so this guy no2 plus is a very strong electrophile kick this hydrogen out attack this carbon and kick this hydrogen out so this will give me ch3 and n h plus okay because this is out now this is a very strong electrophile correct okay. if i have propane for example so in this case if i add nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid so what you get is you get ch3 ch2 ch2 and in this carbon right one hydrogen is replaced with no2 group so what you get is nitropropane or this is one nitropropane all right this was my propane so you got the reaction mechanism you get no2 plus when nitric acid and sulfuric acid react is very strong electrophile and replace the hydrogen to forms nitro the next reaction is sulfonation reaction here the hydrogen is replaced by sulfate group so 3h correct here also my alkene is heated with sulfuric acid for hours and this is also electrophilic substitution reaction and the reaction is for example i have c6h14 it reacts with sulfuric acid to give c6s13 so3h in water so if you see the reaction mechanism my s if you see the sulfuric acid it is in equilibrium with water and so3 this is how it is actually correct so if i have my let's suppose this i am taking this guy c6h14 this is cyclo 
uh, hexane actually. Now this you have let's suppose two hydrogen here attacking in this position. The two hydrogen here, correct? Now I have SO3 which I have got from this reaction. This SO3 will be in this state. This will be minus and this will be plus and this bond will break. Correct? This is the typical state of SO3. Now this guy will now actually what happened is this guy react this plus charge right sulfur it's electrophile it will attack this carbon here attack this carbon here what will form is this is my cyclohexane right so when this will attack this carbon the carbon will have a bond with the sulfur it will have five bond now you see one two three four and with this sulfur fifth bond so it will break one of the hydrogen bond it will break one of the hydrogen bond so what you get here is you get something like this s okay so this is minus actually this is minus single bond minus this you'll get right and one hydrogen will be here the other hydrogen which I just told you right it got kicked out and it is just H plus correct see SO3 attacked here the five bond in this carbon so one hydrogen bond broke it became H plus this SO3 is attacked here now this is SO3 minus right because it was in SO3 minus and plus position so this guy plus attacked here right and this bond broke you got H plus and this if you see the charge total charge is neutral because this is plus and this is minus so this is what you will get sorry and now this H plus which is out will attack this guy so what you will get now is will be H here and this will become S O3 H this is what you will get Correct. This is nothing but C six S thirteen S O three H and plus water molecules. Water molecules I got here. So what happened? The sulfuric acid in, in, in equilibrium with water molecule in S O three. This S O three it attacked this carbon here. Let's suppose this is carbon one, right? Attack this carbon one. Broke the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen came out as this plus, and this becomes became S O three minus here. And this hydrogen attached here, so we got this combo. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.